Okay, folks, uh, as is usual, uh, whenever I get anything, I like to whip it apart. And uh, I've taken off quite a few items actually already. I should have uh, turned my camera on a lot earlier. A lot earlier. Uh, I took off the uh, crushing plates. Uh, this is the inside one that goes in here. And, uh, and that's the outside one that goes in here. And that's a stop plate on the top. And that's a stop plate down underneath here. It bolts into here. Um, one thing I noticed that uh, I've read about too is that these guys, uh, these caps are actually oil caps. And uh, so therefore it has oil in it, uh, which I don't like. Uh, and there's several reasons for that. Uh, oil is oil, and of course grease is grease. Grease has a whole lot more viscosity to it. Uh, typically functions far better in this kind of a situation, especially where dirt, I mean, we're constantly making dust. And so you wanna, I wanna switch these to grease instead of oil. It probably says change oil <laughs> or something, but there's no way to drain it. So it just, actually I've noticed it uh, also in here. I don't know if we can see it at all. Oh yeah, I can see it down there in the bottom. You can probably see it too. Uh, here's, see the see the shininess as I go my with my hand over it? Uh, that's oil. So it's already dripping, which I heard that's the case too. And so uh, grease is the optimal uh, solution for that. Anyway, I'm taking uh, these wheels off also. I'm gonna take this apart, I'm gonna drain everything, clean everything, check everything as best I can. Uh, then I uh, will probably spin these hogs out and uh, put in a grease fitting. Read that uh, that's also a whole lot better. And, you know, and these things, they're just, they're exactly what they are, you know, they're, uh, a big heavy duty piece of gear that'll crush a lot of rock, but uh, you know, they're not a, uh, you know, RC 46, you know? And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, Keen builds great stuff, <laughs> which is like a million times better than this. However, you know, they're nine grand and I can't whip out the nine grand. So, so we got the uh, the cheaper one, about three, three times cheaper, about three grand. So shipping and everything included. That's another thing, uh, if somebody ever buys one of these things from uh, China, uh, beware, this is the point. Uh, the, um, yeah, the cost is good. It was 1500 on eBay, you know, shipped to your nearest port. And, uh, you know, and I was like, oh, you know, the duties and all that stuff, you know, and shipping, it can't run over, I don't know, seven or $800, you know, but actually it was about twice that. So, uh, you know, I got the, uh, the little diesel uh, engine with it too. And I specifically, requested that and uh and actually it's uh, pretty interesting it uh it's about 5.7 horsepower and uh, of course it's just a single stroke diesel and it's water cool that's a a water tank as you fill it up by this will float and of course as it gets down and you refill it up when you're running it and uh very interesting though um so anyway just beware if you buy something like this uh you know it was for me uh finally about uh you know 1500 bucks to get it here and uh you know 1500 to buy it actually 1650 because i wanted the uh the diesel engine so yeah uh not quite 3200 but uh in the neighborhood i'm kind of laying it out also where i dropped the washer here somewhere i probably rolled off the trailer here yeah i'm trying to lay it out all in order you know front screw rear screw and uh, same with this front and rear, you know, just, you know, you never know, man, you know, something, you don't want to go back together screwy or uh, strip something, <laughs> cross straight, whatever it is, you know. And this thing's pinned also, which uh, might be a bit tough. This one here, this pin, I can see it's all pinged over. Uh, you should probably take a look at that too. See how it's been hammered and pinged over. I might have to grind that dude off flat. And this one here, you can, I don't know if you can see it, you should be able to, it's a little bit bent. And of course they had a, you know, obviously a piece of steel or something underneath there and hammer it from the top. to kind of hold her all together, I'm sure, while they bolted it. But uh, anyway, that can all be, that can all be resolved. <laughs> so, one day at a time, baby. That's what we gotta do. One day and one thing at a time. So, yeah. Having fun. <laughs> I'm gonna fire this hog up in a little while too. I'll show you that. But uh, 
Oh, here's one more thing. <laughs> I, it's everything. I should turn this camera on a lot sooner. You see this pulley here? Uh, it's cut off, right? I cut it off last night. Um, and this is the deal. You know, I requested the diesel engine, um, and the diesel engine came with uh, this get up. This one, you know, actually all part of uh, that inner piece where the three bolts are at, the bolts to the flywheel. And, uh, and so what I did is I just took it off and I clamped this in my lathe and, uh, and I cut it off. And the reason I did that, this circle happened to be the same, not on this side, but same uh, ID on the other side of this. This piece was all by itself, this uh, pulley set. And of course it's supposed to go onto, it looks like about an inch shaft, uh, probably for that electric motor that it originally came with. Anyway, uh, you can see my bionic weld, but uh, I cut it off on the lathe and uh, lined it up and welded it. It's not perfectly straight, but it's pretty darn straight. And so anyway, I did that too, uh, because I want all three belts to run. Oh, here's another thing. Listen, I got a lot of little things to show you. Yeah, look at that. See, um, the cast here uh, didn't quite fill everything, you know? It missed this part right here, which uh, is a little bit terrible. <laughs> And of course, they'll probably chew up the belt if I'm not careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece of old belt, uh, you know, or maybe just, I don't know, whatever, just a piece of belt I have, and I'm gonna mix up some good JB Weld and uh, and goop it in there till it's full, stick in the belt so it has the exact same, uh, you know, bevel as a half inch uh, V-belt, and do that in both of them. Let it set up, bam, pull it off. A Little bit of fine sanding, I think it'll uh, it'll hold well. We'll see. If it doesn't, then uh, finally I'll, maybe I'll weld it. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, it's got to be fairly smooth, and I can feel a little bit of a sharp edge there, and so I don't want to tear up the belts. Anyway, uh, we're down to this here. This dude shouldn't be too hard because it's never been grand. Oh, there we go. There we go. Woohoo! All right. So it goes on just like that. Oh, mix it up, man. Oh, mix it up. Temple five away. You always keep promises and covenants I make to the only day. You live in the world, the night of the world. Hold on to the ride Carefully walking in the light And seeking the word of the only true God Eternally bound by the Lord's servant In the temple far away You always keep promises And covenants I make to the honest Okay, I'm gonna give you a little look inside here. So this uh, is a spring tension bar that when you pull or adjust this, which is hard laying on its side, uh, up, this will of course push up on this and uh, this gives you the, the pullback, you know, the spring out here pulls this whole unit back, so when you adjust it back, it comes back. Uh, it doesn't come out super good because <laughs> nothing's like uh, got any lube in it. So anyway, I'm gonna take it apart. Now take this bolt out, pull the rod out, uh, pull this out, make sure everything's clean and good. Uh, you know, grease the heck out of it, you know, and put it all back together. Uh, I want a little grease because, uh, you know, the crushing action, uh, you know, I want, uh, you know, it to be basically, you know, have this, not sealed, but, uh, you know, basically protected from, because uh, the dirt's gonna come right out here. So I might put a plate over that. I'm not sure just yet. Anyway, something. That's what I'm looking at. Only had to 
These guys here, you know, look to me like they take liquid oil of some kind, like uh, probably some heavy duty stuff, maybe uh, some gear lube, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, after looking at this, they're not bearings, they're actually bushings, you know, little brass bushings in there. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I have to think about it here a little bit and uh, a little uh, search whether it's, uh, or maybe somebody out there's got a good idea of uh, should I just go with some heavy duty gear lube, you know, uh, some 90 weight gear lube or something. Or, uh, you know, I hate to have it drip any oil into the material. That's the biggest issue I have. So anyway, um, there it is. It's kind of, kind of interesting though. I still got to take everything apart even further a little bit. If I look down in here, I don't know if you can see that at all, but this, this little fitting here uh, on the other side, I can see that it's got dirt in it. <laughs> so as you pump oil or grease into it, it's gonna get, uh, yeah, it's gonna load it up with, uh, right on the shaft right here, probably right where that spot's at, where they painted it without this in. you be wearing the heck out of this. Anyway, I'm gonna clean the heck out of it. And uh, once it's all cleaned up, you know, uh, use some, uh, you know, some heavy duty uh, grease, you know, like assembly lube, put it back together. Uh, probably just um, just grease, you know, some good heavy, heavy grease. And um, anyway, then I'll go from there. If I'm supposed to put a little bit of gear lube in it or something, I will. But I don't want to put too much in there. Anyway, everything, as you can see, is here, but it's all rough as heck. Uh, this piece, I'm going to clean up just a smidge. I'm going to clean up this a tiny bit. You know, you can see where they cleaned it up a tiny bit. Uh, also, I'm going to clean up this surface, just a scushy and uh probably this surface here also uh this guy here this is the actual you know pressing wedge that actually changes the uh you know the gap of the uh jaws and so yeah i gotta clean this up a little bit here for sure and uh you know the surface here you know, i keep moving the camera see this big gnarl here it's like yeah it's a a big old piece of cast there i'm gonna obviously knock that off because uh, these two plates actually like that, you know, so having that big gnarl there, it's probably not the greatest spot. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna clean that up. I think that'll make it move smoother and nicely, and of course be a little more precision. This surface in here is also the same thing where, uh, you know, this guy rides in here. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, it goes the other way though, like, like this. There we go, like that, and uh, you know it. It will, it will go in here, but uh, you know, and if I just hold it, of course, it's not bad. But if I touch anything with it, then it's not very smooth. So anyway, clean it all up, make it run a little smoother. Obviously, a uh, tiny bit of grease in here too, on all of them. Uh, before I do anything, though, I'm going to clean it up and, and spray it on the inside here. Uh, and then of course clean these rails and uh, lube them because I don't want it to rest too much. Why it's incredibly important to uh, really clean, you know, uh, I'm sure if you get a keen, <laughs> it'll be perfect. But, uh, you know, in a case where you're getting one from overseas somewhere, like this one from China, uh, you have to check. The reason I say that, see a hole through there, right? Nothing, no light, no light. Look at this one. my finger yeah light baby let there be light so uh this one i blew about a 20 pound piece of there you go see the light oh yeah baby <laughs> piece of dirt with uh you know rocks in it and uh in metal shavings yeah perfect for these uh nice soft bushings you can see they're a tiny bit scored already but bottom line is the bottom line uh you know we're gonna juice them good clean everything out Put a little bit of, uh, you know, grease on them. Uh, clean this up good. You can see it's got a little bit of, uh, you know, machining in it still, which is probably fine. It'll hold grease. I think it'll be all right. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Let me show you something though here. Let's put this dog on his side. You know, you can maybe see in the hole. I hope you can see in the hole. I'm gonna stick a Q-tip in here. Let's see what comes out. Ah. Oh. See, yeah, if you just put juice in there or grease or whatever, you're gonna juice that right into the bushing. And uh, yeah, and you're host. 
And you probably run it for about, I don't know, months, and you'll say, that thing's crap, that machine's wore right out, and yeah. Now you know why, baby. <laughs> this is why, right here. Look at this stuff. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all metal shavings, just a little bit of dirt. Okay, I'll show you guys these surfaces here. This guy has the plate stuck in here. And of course, as it goes forward, you can, you know, close the gap. You can't hardly see it here. Close the gap on the bottom for a finer crush. So, uh, anyway, I cleaned up this whole thing and it's got just a, a light coat of kind of a, actually grease on it, some, uh, some good grease. And uh, this also too, uh, cleaned up in a light coat of grease. Uh, after some critical parts were painted and uh, of course this slides a little bit better but this is how it works actually crank that down and you see how it pushes it forward there you go so it feels a lot actually it's not very straight but you know what there you go pretty good much better than before so yeah we got that <laughs> 